So hello, I'm John Page. I'm the president of Keysight Global Services. When we were here two years ago at our last investor day, services was the one growth initiative that was not performing the way we knew it could. And shortly before that day, Ron asked me to take over and run that group and gave me the charter to fix that. So I'm very pleased to be here with you today to share with you the dramatic progress we've made in our services business over the last couple of years. So the things I want you to remember are first off, we fundamentally changed our growth algorithm. After not growing for multiple years, in the last two years, we have grown substantially. We're on target to do $600 million in orders this year. That's an almost 50% organic growth over the last two years. Second, services is not an add-on. It is a fundamental and key component of our overall strategy towards software-centric solutions. By taking services, by wrapping them around our solutions, we extend outcomes to our customer and improve their experience. Third, we do this by creating new, first-to-market, differentiated services that complement those solutions. And when you put all this together, we're very well positioned to continue positive organic growth going forward. So let's just give you a quick snapshot of what our services business looks like. First off, we're a global organization, and we have operations both on our customer sites and off in over 20 different countries around the world. And those folks are focused on delivering an entire portfolio of services to our customers to help them achieve better outcomes. We're growing dramatically in the last two years. We've been growing double digits on both our revenue and our orders line. And a lot of that growth is coming from new services that we're attaching up front when we sell our initial products and solutions. So before we look forward, let's look backwards a little bit at what we said we would do in our last investor day and see how we did. First off, we said we'd fix the growth thing. We'd take the business to $600 million. We will do $600 million in orders this year. Much of that through new services, as I said. And those new services that attach up front are building multi-year agreements. So they're building recurring revenue into the future. So with hitting 600 million in services and a lot of that growth being in recurring revenue, we're well on track to go past the $600 million business mark that we talked about. We also talked about growing our profitability and our margins. Well, those new services don't just grow our top line, they also are higher margin services than our installed base. So they're adding to our gross margin, expanding our gross margin for our services business. We also talked about adding a number of new services. Ron mentioned premium technical support, and we talked about a number of new services we'd be adding around helping our customers achieve their desired outcomes. We've done all that, but I'll save that because we'll talk more about that a little bit later in the presentation. So let's first give you a little context before we dive into this. Uh, historically, as Ron had mentioned up front, we were a hardware product company back in the day. And my group was a hardware product support group. Now you've heard from all the other presenters that have come up here, we've successfully shifted. We're now a software-centric solutions company. And that changes everything, including our services business and what they're looking for from our services organization. So we have to do more. We have to climb that maturity curve, which means we need to move up. We need to offer premium technical support that's better than what we've done before to help our customers get to market faster. We need to give them a digital end-to-end -end experience so that they have a simplified experience and they can focus on their products, not on dealing with ours. And we need to be the trusted advisor to our customers, working with the solutions teams in Sun Chai's and Satish's area. We need to create services that complement those solutions and lend us to be that trusted advisor, that measurement expert that helps them get their stuff to market faster. So we won't focus on the first level, but we'll walk through each of the next three levels very quickly, and then we'll talk about a customer example that hopefully will illustrate it and bring it all together for you. So in our new world, um, our technical support is not, our old technical support was not where it really needed to be. So what we need to do is offer a higher level of support. We needed to do it faster. We need to make it more integrated. Solutions and the shift to solutions really is 
increasing complications. Solutions are made of multiple pieces of hardware, multiple pieces of software, all working together. So in order to support that, we needed to have better, more integrated, and faster customer support. Our answer to that was Keysight Care, which we launched about a year ago. It offers three levels of premium technical support for our customers to choose for, and we put an entire new backend infrastructure to be able to deliver that higher level of support. It's off to a great start and uh, is growing very quickly. It is a key component, but not the only component, in the upfront attached services that we now add to our products. And you can see that's the fastest growing part of our services business. Next, we're moving from reactive to proactive and increasingly predictive services and support. In order to do that, we really need to tie everything together electronically, network them together. Our products and our solutions are very smart. Now we're tying them together and we're linking them back to a central cloud infrastructure so that we can do more. That allows us to give a simplified experience to our customer. It gives us data we never had before that allows us to enable outcomes we could never do before and creates a whole new set of capabilities for us. And last, being that trusted advisor means understanding our customer's business and understanding their market segment. You heard Satish and Sun Chai walk you through various solutions targeted at various industry segments, and we're right there with them working hand in hand to create solutions and services that wrap around their solutions to help deliver ongoing customer value. So I think the best way to understand this is with an example. This is an example, specific customer from our aerospace defense segment. They've been a customer for a long time, been a good customer. We've provided ongoing service and support for them for years. But the world is changing, their business is changing, they have new needs. They need a lower cost of test. That does not mean a lower cost of test equipment. That means a lower cost of their entire test processes. And they need to do it faster, and they need to do it with higher quality. And they're looking for better utilization, not just of their test equipment, but of their personnel and of their facilities as well. So what can we do for them? Well, you gotta know where you're starting and you gotta be able to measure progress in order to be able to do anything uh, successfully. So we brought in a brand new software-based unique service called Pathwave Asset Advisor. That allowed us to connect all their instruments together, allowed us to pull all the information into a central cloud, and that told us what instruments they had, where they were, how they were being used, how often they were being used, are they healthy? Increasingly, will they be healthy in the, in the future? That gave us a starting point and a way to measure progress going forward. On top of that, we brought in a new, also unique, first of a kind, first to market service based on software called system calibration. And so imagine if you will, our customer, they've got giant area filled with all sorts of solutions. Those solutions are racks of equipment, various pieces of test equipment working together, working with software in unison, and rack after rack of these things. All these things need to be calibrated every year. And so in the old world, what that would mean is taking each rack apart piece by piece, taking each piece, giving it to us, having us calibrate it, having us hand it back to them, having them reassemble it, recable it, re-put in the software, and hope it works the way it worked before. Well, in the new world, what we do is we take a half rack of equipment and our proprietary software, we roll it down the aisle, we plug it into each solution, and we treat the solution like it's one unit in place and we calibrate the whole thing together. The results are dramatically different. Weeks and days of downtime go to hours and minutes of downtime. And the quality goes up dramatically because you're doing this in place, the way the instruments are actually being used. So you get higher quality. So what was the net result for our customer? Well, they got dramatically better utilization of their people and equipment. They got a lower cost of overall test envelope expenses. They got better quality. And they wouldn't actually share with us the number, but they did tell us that they ran an ROI on running our services and buying our services, and uh, it was well into the triple digits. So it was a win for our customer. What does it look like from Keysight's perspective? Well, we took a good customer and made them a great customer. We went up 3x in total revenue, 
We turned that revenue into a multi-year contract of recurring revenue. We doubled our gross margins on the deal. And perhaps most importantly, we changed the whole equation in our relationship with the customer from a drop point of, point of sale view into an ongoing relationship that's sticky and builds on itself. They're already talking to us about doing more of this type of thing in that same center and then expanding this across their company. So hopefully that helps illustrate how all these different services come together and work with our solutions companies or solutions from our uh, other segments. And so what I want you to remember is services is growing. We're growing double digits in the last two years. We're a strategic part of the overall equation in delivering software centric solutions by wrapping our services around the solutions. We provide ongoing value for our customers and open up a new recurring revenue stream for Keysight. These new offerings are only possible by doing things that other people can't, by creating new differentiated services solutions that fill and address needs from our new solutions portfolio. And then when you put all this stuff together, we are very well positioned to continue to grow our services business organically into the future. Thank you.